What's up, guys? This is the Just Cuz Podcast, a podcast where two cousins get together to chat and debate and compete against each other. Uh, today, we are going to be competing against each other. I'm Jake. This is my co-host, Joey. How's it going? Just over here fixing this. <laughs> I uh, made sure to tell him uh, fifty, close to fifty times uh, to, to not mess with the mic, and in the first twenty seconds of this video, he starts messing with the microphone. He told me not to put the laptop on my lap. So <laughs> I'll just grow longer arms to be able to reach the table here. Yeah, I mean, you should be able to uh, just lean up like a human. Um, but now today we're gonna do a little bit of trivia with, and let me show, or you show, you show what we're doing. This is the Reaper <sighs> Pepper <laughs> Kentucky Straight Bourbon Reaper Pepper Hot Sauce. It's supposed to be pretty hot. Uh, it is. I'll hot. tell you what, very hot. Do you think it's hotter than this Zen that you gave me? <laughs> <laughs> I believe it is. Yeah. Because my mouth is burning, <laughs> like That's it's on good. fire. It's supposed to happen. I may have to take it out here soon because my head's spinning, dude. <laughs> <laughs> just a just a heads up. I don't. I've. I don't do like nicotine, uh, tobacco, nothing, um, except the rare occasion. And right now, I'm. I'm he gave me one of these because maybe it'd be funny. I don't know, <laughs> but it's it's six. Is that a lot? Six milligram. Yeah, it's a. Uh, <clears throat> they have one that's higher, which is an eight, but I think it's only sold in special places. So yeah, this is the highest one for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that, dude. <laughs> I'm already feeling it. I'm already... <laughs> I've never smoked marijuana, but I feel like that's close feeling. Is it? Uh, I hey, remember my it... first time dipping, man. It was like it was an experience like none other. I got super buzzed. Yeah. When does it go away? <laughs> Very quickly. No. Under under ten minutes. Ten. Under ten. I'll be feeling like this for ten minutes. Probably. All right, you're gonna have to lead this, dude. <laughs> I'm right. serious. Like I'm about to I'm about to I'm about to fall over. I swear to God. <laughs> well, you're sitting down, so luckily it won't be a long fall. <laughs> okay. So did you did you explain what we were doing? Not yet, actually. Okay. Uh, so right, what we're gonna explain. be doing is asking trivia questions, and he's going to have to obviously answer them. But if answered incorrectly, I'm going to make him a chip with some super hot sauce on it. So yeah. So this hot sauce is is Carolina Reaper. It's uh, you got it where in Austin? Is that right, or did Tyler send this to you? No, actually, I believe that Shannon got that for me when she went to uh, Nashville. Oh, so, okay. So, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Reaper Pepper Hot Sauce with, so, I think, didn't we try this before and it's super hot? Yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously we've tried it before. Yeah. Um. But, yeah, it just has Reaper Peppers, red wine vinegar, tomato, water, onion, that kind of good, that kind of stuff. Um. Bro. All right. Okay. Has it been close to ten minutes? Do you think? <laughs> no. You have no, dude. You have no idea, brother. All right. Well, then it's a good time to start off the questions here. I'm on the moon right now. Okay. Go <laughs> ahead. All right. What is the capital city of Australia? Uh, Sydney. False. That's a good. <laughs> that's a good guess, though. It is a good guess. Yeah. All right. So. The question should have been, what is the one city you can name in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been what, about the only What's the answer hear. to that? The answer is Canberra. I've seriously never heard that in my life. I know the Sydney Theater. Yeah, I smelled that earlier, and it made my ears ring. Yeah. this. Uh... So, oh, also, if I get it wrong, he makes my chip, and later when I ask him questions... If he gets it wrong, I make his chip. So he's got to be extremely thoughtful in his uh, in his pouring here. It's kind of like quarters. I was going to start off a little slow just to kind of get 
Well, that's a little bit more than I anticipated. That's, that's a good little dab you got there on this chip, brother. Okay. We need to get some wings made next time for this. This is good. I need some food in my system here. All right. <laughs> I, I think we just go question for question. So. It's a little hot. <laughs> it's a little hot. I hope so, man. So i ask you the next one? Yeah, you ask me one. That way we can... Okay, don't look. Swear I'm you won't not. look? Swear you won't? Okay. Swear. How many strings does the standard guitar have? Oh, no. <laughs> How many strings? How many strings does a, does a standard guitar have? You should get this one. I shouldn't get this one. I have, I have, no, I have no idea. Uh, if I were to guess how many strings a guitar has, I would say nine. <laughs> Give me that. Seven? Sauce. Is it seven? <laughs> no, it's six. Oh, it's six. That's way less than I thought. Well, well, as I pour this, just know that that is still in my system. <laughs> so I may be a little... Okay. Uh, that's probably... No, that's good. That's about the same you that you gave me. All right, here you go. There you go. All right. Go ahead and eat that. Thoughts? <laughs> I'm I'm like it, it. It's okay after after like a few minutes, but as I keep getting questions wrong, which is inevitable, it'll be. And we're hard. gonna increase the amount too. We gotta increase increase the amount, yeah, for sure. Um. Ooh. Yeah, after one it's fine. It's, it's. I mean, it hurts, but it's not like terrible. Go ahead. I feel like this is. <clears throat> I feel like this is an easy one. Okay. Uh, what is the chemical symbol for gold? AU. Yeah. Yeah. Impeach Has nothing to do here. with gold, in my opinion. AU. <laughs> okay, this is easy. What's the capital of Italy? Capital city. Venice. No. No. <laughs> Give me the sauce. Any geographical questions, I'm just going to get wrong. I could just go ahead and tell you all that now. Okay, good to know. Uh, the answer is Rome. Rome, okay. It's Rome. So, um, I think I think uh, everybody, just about everybody knows that. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I am terrible with any kind of geography. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, I didn't know that. I didn't know. Uh, well, I mean, I guess it's kind of like is uh, Venice in Italy, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, it's it's God. the it's it's a really nice city. It's a good guess. It really okay. is a good guess. Ah, shit. <laughs> and what year was the first iPhone released? Bro, uh, two thousand and six. Oh, close. What? <laughs> what is it? Two thousand seven. Oh my gosh, I was just trying to think of my childhood and like when did that drop? Because you know they had the iPod touches that were like, I thought I was the coolest person on the planet with that iPod touch. Okay, well, to, in your in your defense, <laughs> <laughs> they were probably making it in two thousand six. Okay, so you put the amount for two chips on this one. <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> You might as well have just poured me a shot of it. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <clears throat> okay. Oh shoot! All right. Okay, I'll give you one where you're gonna get right. Oh. What okay. kind of animal is Shrek? What kind of animal is Shrek? Yeah, it says animal in there, but that's I don't know if it's technically an animal. But what kind of mystical creature? Ogre. Or mythical? What'd you say? Ogre. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Okay. Who painted the Mona, Mona Lisa? Uh, Mona Lisa. I think Mona Lisa was Da Vinci. First name? Leonardo. Yep. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. What is the largest animal in the world? The largest animal in the world. Yeah. Okay. Are we are we including uh sea creatures? Yes. Okay. Uh, blue whale. That's correct. Let's go. Thank the Lord. I cannot wait till you get one wrong, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Who came up with the theory of relati relativity? The theory of relativity. Einstein. Yep. Albert. Albert. Albert Einstein did that. 
What language is spoken in Argentina? Uh, Spanish? Yep. It's Spanish. Good job. Okay. I thought there was no way you're getting that. I was actually expecting Argentinian. <laughs> Argentinian. <laughs> what language is spoken in Brazil? Who man. I'm going to go Spanish. <laughs> okay, well, you're wrong. It's Portuguese. <laughs> Ooh. Well, it should be a two-answer type question. No, I, I should have known Portuguese. Oh, God. <clears throat> you know, it's like, it's in the it's in the back of my throat still. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> That's a small chip. What are we doing? It I looks know. like it's a lot more than it is. Small chip, lot lot of sauce. <laughs> okay, you ready for this one? <laughs> Who painted the scream? The what? The scream, the the uh the painting. Who the painted scream. it? Yeah. <laughs> Probably millions of people. What? Like who created it? Who originated it? Well, okay, what do you think I'm talking about? The ghost face, right? No, 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 not the movie Scream. There's a painting, <laughs> famous painting, kind of like the Mona Lisa. It's called The Scream. Oh, I've never seen it. Not familiar okay. with it. Well, who who painted it? Uh, Give me the sauce. I guess I'll embarrass myself with a guess. <laughs> yeah, go for it, dude. Uh, What is the other painter's name? I know two painters, I think. Okay, so I said Leonardo da Vinci, and you might get this right. Who is it? John. What? I can't, I can't think of the guy's name. Did you just say John? <laughs> yeah, I think John painted it. John Smith. <laughs> <laughs> nope, his name was Edward Munch. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not who I was thinking of at all. I've never heard of Edward Munch, but you can give me that <laughs> sauce if you like. <laughs> Shit, man. Mm. <clears throat> Ooh, buddy. All right, there you go. Mm. Uh, in case you guys were wondering, we're under a tornado watch here with <laughs> <laughs> with extreme thunderstorms. So, um, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we hopefully we make it. Sorry, he was just he took a drink really quick after that. Um, <laughs> hopefully, we make it through this without a tornado. Uh, don't want to wrench in things. Yeah, I'm just ready to be impaled by a tree branch at any moment. Yeah, you know, I'm always ready for that. I welcome it. <clears throat> Who directed the movie Jurassic Park? I don't know many directors, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know. Do I know this guy? I feel like you've had to have heard his name before. Okay, sure. let me ask you this. Have we talked about this guy recently? No. At all. You can't recall us talking about this guy? No, we didn't. Okay. So it's not it's not Christopher Nolan. <laughs> um <clears throat> I'll give you this. His initials are SS. SS? Steven Spiel Spielberg? Yes. yes. Is that right? Yep. Dude, See, I, I knew couldn't you even knew his name. Huh? I knew you that you knew his name at least. Dude, I couldn't even tell you if he was a director or what he did. <laughs> I just I just know that that's a name. That's a name. Let's go. That's a Hollywood name. Okay. What is the primary gas found in Earth's atmosphere? Huh? What is the what? Primary gas found in Earth's atmosphere. What is the primary gas? Yes. Found in the Earth's atmosphere. I don't. Yes. Uh, give me an example of like a gas. Like what? Oxygen is a gas. <clears throat> okay. 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 Nitrogen. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay. <laughs> was, I don't understand how you got that. Maybe I shouldn't have given you oxygen as a, as an example. I was just confused in the question. Okay. Uh, what is the main ingredient in hummus? Chickpeas. How the... Did you know that? Um, I just do, man. It's impressive. Who wrote The Great Gatsby? 
Oh, I actually know this one. Yeah. There's uh, a funny there's a funny scene in a movie that they talk about this. Ted. It's in Ted. Ted 2, I think. I forgot his name. <clears throat> what is it? F. Scott Fitzgerald. Oh, fuck. Or no, F. Scott Fitzgerald. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You have you ever seen Ted 2? Where they talk yes, about? Yes, I have. I don't remember yeah. that reference though. What do you mean F. Scott Fitzgerald? What did I, what did Scott Fitzgerald do to you? Whenever they start talking about his name? I don't remember that part. But Miss Quentin, shout out Miss Quentin from LSA, <clears throat> showed us <clears throat> like an hour documentary on this guy. On F. Scott Fitzgerald? Yep. As we were reading The Great Gatsby. This is a lot of sauce here. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's almost caving in the chip. Actually. Yeah. I can actually see, I can see it off, like off the chip for about half an inch. We, uh, yeah, we're, we're good. We got plenty. Yeah, how many players are there on a soccer team? On a team or on the field? Like that could be on the soccer team. Team? I don't know how many are on the team. Like on a, the like field at one time. Eleven. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's not team. I feel like they have more on their roster than just that eleven. Uh, they do for sure. What are the two main characters in Romeo and Juliet? Uh, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Give me the sauce. What? <laughs> you haven't seen it? Have you ever read it or seen Romeo and Juliet? Yeah. So who are the two main characters? Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Here it is. I feel like it's not, is it, why is it not Romeo and Juliet? I've, okay. Well, I mean, if you've ever seen it. You know that Romeo and Juliet are actually not even the main characters. Like they're kind of the backstory of the whole thing. But I mean, you'll be all right. Is Audrey at the door? Yeah. You should have just seen her face. Was it just smushed? Here. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. What does a barometer measure? Barometer. I think that's how you say it. Like B R B A R A, B A R O M E T E R, barometer probably. Barometer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna say that a barometer measures, um, um, volume. Nope. What is it? Atmospheric pressure. <laughs> Dang it, dude. <laughs> You're gonna start asking me the hardest questions now. It's right here. <laughs> it's starting to it's starting to leave a a, a feel on the tongue. It's alright. At least I didn't uh, I didn't say Romeo and Juliet are the two main characters. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, what a stupid fuck I am for <laughs> saying that. <laughs> yeah, how could I? Mm. I thought that was a trick question. You thought it was? I thought it was because you literally is, said cause... it in the question. Yeah, it kind of is. All right. Uh... Ooh, you may know this. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's my turn. <laughs> said, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. What is a group? No, and you know, you know what? I already know you're going to get that wrong, and I want to give you a fair chance because I'm a good guy. And I also screwed you on the last question. <laughs> um, because Romeo and Juliet are definitely the two main characters in Romeo and Juliet. I wonder why that said else. else otherwise. It doesn't. So what was the answer? Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> you just fucked me? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> well, be, well, because, like, I don't know. I, I feel like that shouldn't be on here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can just cycle through, though. <laughs> just skip it. <laughs> well, um, all right, go. What does the free prefix kilo mean in the metric system? Kilogram? No. <laughs> what does the pre-metric kilo mean? No, what does prefix kilo mean? Prefix. The prefix, like beginning of a word? Uh, I don't know. Uh, what is it? Thousand? Means thousand. Kilogram means a thousand grams. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel I feel like I feel like on top of the world right now a little bit. That's hot. <laughs> All right, ready? Yeah. What is the opposite of down? <laughs> <laughs> What's the answer? Up. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not up. <gasps> Fucking sideways. <laughs> seriously <laughs> uh, what color are emeralds green <laughs> yes <laughs> good job uh, really really good and what decade was the internet created 19 or 20th wait that's century <laughs> <laughs> hang on internet 1990 very close. 1960. Oh, internet? No. Nope. Wait, wait, whoa. So, all this time, my grandparents... Be- <clears throat> dude, I can't talk, dude. <laughs> all this time, my grandparents have been saying, oh, back in my day, we didn't have all the... What you call it? Uh-huh. So, they've been lying this whole time? They had an... <clears throat> they had internet? Well, they had internet, but... I think they had to like go to uh, state capitol, then go into like the library there, and then they'd have a one computer there. Hmm. Or maybe you had to be super rich to have one. Oh my gosh! What country does sushi originate from? What what country? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh no. Why? I'm gonna say Japan. Japan is right. Thank God. What what was the other one you were in between? China. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> uh Oh, how many teeth does an adult human have? 32. Shit. Good job. Is that right? Yep. I thought that sounded right in my head. Um what does DNA stand for? Huh? What does DNA stand for? I mean, you got this, bro. Easy peasy in the pie. Uh, no. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. It's super easy, dude. It's deoxyribonucleic acid. (laughs) (laughs) I asked you what... Yeah, I just feel like... I feel like I needed to ask you a harder question because I've been giving you... I've been giving you toss-ups. Or not toss-ups. What do they call them? Super layups. Maybe layups. Toss-ups are like... It's debatable. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, man. What is the hottest planet in the solar system? Planet? Venus. Shoot. You would think it'd be Mercury. Actually, the four planets that they named, I think are... I could have said all of these. The answer choices were Mercury, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter, which I think growing up they told us that Jupiter was the hottest planet. No. Jupiter is farther like away. It's most like red, though. Yeah, but that's the gases. It's farther away from the sun. Whose face is on the $5 bill? Uh, on the $5 bill, that is Abraham Lincoln. That's correct. 
I would have never I would have never guessed that because he's already on the penny. So I wouldn't have I wouldn't have even You wouldn't have got that one? No. Oh, let's go. No, I wouldn't have got that one. You're wasting your drink, bro. Some you college, everybody. Some college. <laughs> Haven't graduated yet. Some college? Yeah, on all my applications I have to put some college. <laughs> Dang, <laughs> you that's know? a slap in the face. If I just say high school diploma, then I'm like you know, I've took some college. You have taken, yeah. Uh, what does uh, NASA stand for? NASA. We should definitely know this. We live five, 10 minutes from NASA. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, man. Is it... Okay, I'll say national is the N. Uh-huh. National... Aerospace, or no, National Aero, I don't know, what is it, <laughs> just tell me. National Aeronautics, Aeronautics. and Space Administration. Okay, I pro- I would have got the first A, or the first letter and the last letter, but I would have not gotten, what planet has the most moons? Is it Uranus? Uh, no. Is it Jupiter? It's Jupiter. Yeah. It's Jupiter. We just talked about Jupiter. I was hoping, I was hoping it would throw you off. Dang it. I can't even put a lot on this because it's thin. Also, Pluto is a planet, everybody. Um, It's a dwarf planet. And Pluto is my favorite planet growing up. Why is that? Don't know. Just liked it. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Oh, this is just a... All right, man. I mean, I haven't given you one in a while. It's a good chunk. It's a good It's a good bit of sauce. <laughs> and what year was the United Nations founded? <laughs> I feel like you would know this one, but... United Nations. I'm going to say 19... <laughs> Is that correct? Is that first <laughs> You're only off by two centuries. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go 1942. Oh. I guess that five looked like a two. It's 1945. No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dang, that was close, though. I feel like if I'm in within three years, you give it to me, give or take. Yeah, and a serious question. What the fuck is the United Nations? Are you serious? What is it? <laughs> it's it's the United Nations. <laughs> <laughs> of what? United Nations? Like, what is of it? Of the a planet. Organization? I mean, is it a... It's all the, it's all the uh, countries... Like, they'll get together and, like, I don't know, chit-chat. Maybe they should make that a podcast. <laughs> yeah, they should. No, they, they like, form together to, like, make sure that the the common good is, is or the greater good. And the reason I guess 1942 is because of World War II. And I and I thought that, that it was formed around World War II, which it was. Just, I chose the wrong year. Mmm. What element has the chemical symbol N-A? <laughs> you, have, you have beads of sweat on your nose. <laughs> uh, not applicable. <laughs> no. I'm joking. Hang on. N-A? Uh, you said not applicable, dude. That's an answer. No, it's not. I was yeah, joking. That's like an answer to me. Uh... N A. N A. Is it copper? No. Here. Is it zinc? No. Here. Shit! I knew you were gonna get it wrong. What is it? Sodium. Sodium. You little bitch. <laughs> Let's go. What type of <clears throat> animal is a penguin? <laughs> <laughs> you got a mirror over here. What kind of animal is a penguin? Yeah. 
It's a penguin. <laughs> yeah, but what kind of animal is it? What what species is it in? <clears throat> species is penguin. <laughs> you... Yeah, but what classification is it in though? <laughs> it depends on the penguin. <laughs> um, bird. I don't understand. Yeah, yes, is it's, it? It's a bird. Okay, and that's the answer to this question. That question's stupid. It's a stupid question. How many claws does a domestic cat have? A domestic cat, as if it. Yeah, like it lives here. How many claws? In a house. Yeah. I'm gonna go ten claws. Um, no. How many? Eighteen. Wait, how? No, because it just doesn't. No, how, how, how? I need an explanation. I don't know. It's the website. And if the website's wrong, it You're doesn't matter. You're not screwing matter. me, are you? I swear on my life. I wouldn't just come up with a number 18. I probably would, though. Wait, since, since a cat, in all seriousness, a cat has four legs, obviously. Right. Not four legs, sorry. It has... Shit. Well, it definitely has four legs. Like, a cat does have four legs. You got that well, right. Well, I think the front two are left the arms, right? Or is that incorrect? You know, you could be right. <laughs> I don't know. So they walk on... They're, yeah, like a gorilla. I think it's four legs. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's like a form of a gorilla. A cat does not walk like a gorilla. On its hands and legs. No, dude. It has four legs. It has four legs. There's no. It's not a. It's not hands and feet. Oh, I'm gonna need a fact check on that. <clears throat> fact check on that. Yeah. All okay. right. What is the capital city of Canada? Toronto. <laughs> no. Oh my God! What is it? Ottawa. Quebec. Ottawa. Oh, I don't know anything about those Ottawa? freaking people up there. I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know anything about Canadians and and all that. I know yeah, I know Drake. Centered American dick. <laughs> I know Drake. That's Toronto. Drake, Justin Bieber, The Weeknd. Hey, Buckaroo, Buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, God, it's a dripping. Um. Hey, did you know oh. they, they remade iCarly in 2021? Yeah, you didn't watch it. Huh? You didn't watch it? Not whenever it premiered, but I saw it today on uh, Paramount. Someone had watched it all the way to the fourth episode. I'm guessing that's Jamie. Yeah, probably. Jamie or Caden. Mm. Are you out of are you out of drink over there? I am. Did oh. you hear that empty clink? Yeah. Okay. My turn to ask you a question. Um what? I forgot it. Dang it. Who first said you can go ahead and hand me that uh, sauce. Who first said, I think, therefore I am? And it's not Billie Eilish. Yeah, hand me the sauce. Sauce? Yeah, hand me the sauce. Why? Because you're getting this wrong. No, I'm not. Who first said, I think, therefore I am? Yeah. Yes. Let me feel around here. Can I have two guesses? You can have, you can have five guesses. Brother. Is it Isaac Newton? No. Oh, it's some philosophical dick. Yeah, it's philosophy. Yeah. Hey, you didn't you didn't think to get better chips in this? Oh, good one. Let me see the sauce. <laughs> you fucking dick. Let me see the sauce. Uh, have I ever heard this guy's name before? No. <laughs> uh, I have. I, I think, philosophy. therefore, I am. Fucking Gandhi? Oh, you've heard of Gandhi before? Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> no, you don't get to pour it out. I didn't. It's still shit. Who wrote the novel Pride and Prejudice? <laughs> Have I ever heard of this? Nope. Pride and Prejudice. You know, Jamie's going to be mad that I don't get this right. Why does she know who that is? Yeah, I'm sure. Um, but I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to guess. <coughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Batman entering the set. Hey, you couldn't have got a smaller chip. Okay. If you can see, um, there's zero chip left here. We're just eating the sauce.
How did you manage to get sauce all over the bottle? I don't know, Joey. <laughs> it, was, it was probably from you di- you dumping it out. Uh, the Great Barrier Reef is off the coast of <clears throat> what? <laughs> of what country? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Give me the sauce. Great Barrier Reef. Yeah. Motherfuckers over here getting special chips for me, dude. Like, we have a fucking set. Oh, those, those chips. All right, don't... I'm going to go freaking bake a tortilla and <laughs> serve it to you with sauce on it. <laughs> God damn, bro. Hang on, you can you can keep trying. I'm trying to get a good chip. In Mexico? Um, no, Australia. <clears throat> uh, I need some milk. <laughs> nope. <laughs> we don't get up. We do not get up after we start the show. How many bones are there in the adult human body? Seventy. Seventy-six. Close. 206. (laughs) Close. (laughs) Dude, there's no good chips in there. Um, So good luck. Where did you find that (laughs) chip? What year did the women <laughs> say it with your chest? What year did women get the right to vote in the United States of America? The wo- women got the right to vote in seventy eight. <laughs> Is that not right? 1978? <laughs> <laughs> or was it like 1950? No! Definitely dude. wasn't before that. Yeah, definitely wasn't before that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> when was it? 1920. What? <laughs> 1978. What is the loudest animal on Earth? Uh, the loudest? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love how you just tried to drink that. Okay. Um, the loudest animal on earth. I am going to go with blue whale, though. Wrong. <sighs> what is it? Sperm whale. <laughs> Dude, if I would have said whale, would you have counted it? Nope. Uh, Who has the most Olympic medals of all time? Michael Phelps. Okay. So you don't think it's Usain Bolt then? Nah. (laughs) Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's correct, man. Good job. What is the smallest country in the world? Smallest country? Smallest country in the world. Vatican. Close. What is it called, though? What? What is it called, though? The Vatican. Vatican City. Vatican. Yes. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Vatican City is the smallest country in the world? Yeah. It's a city? Yeah. In, well, it's in Rome. It's in Italy, but it's the it's its own country. The Pope. Uh, I would have never knew that. I didn't think you'd know that either. What is what fruit is the most popular and consumed worldwide? Banana. Nope. Mm-mm. What is it? Tomato. Tomato? Just just come grab it. Just come get it with your mouth. Oh, you yeah. Who discovered penicillin? Who 
penicillin? P- penicillin. I mean, have I ever heard this name in my life? Yes. Albert Einstein. Alexander Fleming. <laughs> Who is that? Born 1986. <laughs> well, all right, guys. This has been the Just Cause podcast. Uh, <laughs> thank you for listening. Um, and I hope you enjoyed uh, our trivia. And we're going to go get some something to drink because our mouths are both definitely on fire. Catch you next week on Sunday. <laughs>